Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you guys. Uh, here we are looking at Isengard, it's a 2v2 pitch battle, uh, obviously with Isengard and Dorwinian over there. We don't often see them on the battlefield, we'll have a quick look at them in a moment. We are just looking at uh, Isengard as it comes by, up against a Dwarves of Erebor and in the, f in the forest is the Elves. And there comes a volley of arrows from the Elves, taking down some uh, Urukai crossbows. And the Urukai here have uh, got some white, haw white hand stormers as their main body of infantry. These guys are very, very elite. They're more elite than the uh, the uh, Urukai soldiers. Look at these guys. Look at awesome in their like little uh, shield wall formation. We've obviously got the Urukai pikemen here. Uh, these guys are probably going to hold the line with their long pointy sticks and just uh, do some damage. And what have we got over here? We have the general, we have, like, he's... Oh, no, these are berserkers. These are, we've got some berserkers and some Mordor rabble. Obviously got to bring them some Mordor rabble. Look at these guys. They look so funny. Look at the... Look at you. Weird runt of the litter. And then we've got some, uh... I'm pretty sure the general's over here somewhere, and he's, like, a really different unit. But anyway, the elves are already making a move while we're doing this in slow-mo. We have some, uh, Noldorian horsemen already coming out. Of the forest while I'm doing uh, my army camp. How how rude. They are going to get a few of these guys. But I'm pretty sure there's a the general unit. Oh, he's all the way back here. The Naz High Guardians. They're a really, really elite unit. And they've got uh, gold chevrons. They've got to watch out, out for them. But they are very good. And it looks like the cavalry is uh, going to pull back after it seems running into those Wyhand Stormers. But that is the little engagement that we've had to start with. I am playing as Dorwinian in this battle. And... Uh, I have my archers and some Dorwinian elite yard patrollers. Already taken a few shots at the uh, dwarves. I was like, well, we've got to, we've got to uh, weaken these guys because they've got some insane armor. And we're focusing down on some uh, spear guards of Erebor. I mean, these guys are, yeah, these guys are elite. they got some thick armor. They look awesome to these guys. Very, very nice. I, I think I've said it before, but dwarves got to be one of my favorite factions. They look awesome. Um, but we'll come to them in a moment. Um, we've also got some, because we don't see a lot of Dorwinian, so we've got to show them off. Um, we've got Mounted Vinter Courtyards as my cavalry, we've got two units of them. I've got my main body of infantry here, uh, Vinter Court Swordsmen. These guys look pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, they look, they almost look like, um, they're supposed to be like, I don't know, bandits almost a bit. Like, but also main infantry. We've got uh, my Vinland body, uh, Vinland Guards. This is like my elite infantry. These guys look insane. You can also get these playing as Dale. So I presume Dale and Dorwinian have like a sort of a crossover. They are very near each other in like the world. So you can see why there's that crossover. And then I've got some pikemen of my own. Some Vinland watchmen. These guys like have got like almost like, like wizard staff uh, spears. But they're very cool. But anyway. Um, and then my general is a Dorwinian spear paladins. That's what I was looking for. Did wonder where he was. He kind of just looks like the Vinland guard. He's just got a very badass shield. Look at that. It's like almost like a shell. It's quite cool. But um, yes, we are now getting into a bit of combat. We'll have a look at the elves as they uh, clash with, um, well, as they clash with my Isengard. Really, we'll go to normal speed now. Um, but here we go. It looks like it's gonna be Noldorian heavy infantry, the main infantry line. That's going in. And they're going in against pikes actually, but they're rethinking it already. Um, so yeah, they're gonna fight out in the forest. It looks like so it's gonna be heavy, uh, heavy swords that are going in first. They're gonna catch them here. Yeah. Now that's unfortunate for the elves that they caught them here with the pikes. Pikes are going to slow them down and then these, uh, look at this white hand stormer formation. That is insane. Just marching forward in like test judo. It's very, very good. I want to pull back the pikes. This is going to certainly do a lot of damage. Uh, you're going to lose a lot of, yeah, like look at that guy. Just died and that one there. Um, but yes, you're going to take a lot, of, a lot of pain for that. Heavy infantry, lots of Nordoran heavy infantry. You've got spears. We've seen the elves a lot. It's very much the same stuff. We've got elven archers. Um, and that's about it. Dwarves bring in Erebor, Iron Guards, also bringing a lot of crossbows in the back. He's got some well, more Erebor Iron Guards. Well, I was bringing a lot of them. Axe Warriors. Look at these guys taking it on. And then we've got some Grim Hammers. Look, these boys are insane. Focus these guys, guys down heavily, I do, to try and just weaken them. Because they've got no shields. And then we've got the General with Grim Hammers as well. And we've seen their spears already. But here we go. The General is for Isengard is already under threat from Cavalry in the rear. I've just seen this. I can't actually see the cavalry. There it is. I think he's looking for the general. I think he knows that he went in here. But he's trying to just find him. I'm not even sure. But we'll come back to that. I mean, surely he's not going to... They're just going to, like, hide from each other. They are. They're going to hide from each other. It looks like... And the general's running for it. He's uh, bolting. He's seen that the cavalry's so near and he's going to actually bolt and actually give away his position. But it looks like the main infantry line is doing quite well. 
um, for Isengard. He's holding now with his pikes. They are already amongst the pike formation and some are having to get their swords out, unfortunately. But they are going to do the damage. Look at that kill. Whoa, what a kill. He's punching that man to death. Oh, and he stabbed him. Oh, what a kill by the elf. What an insane kill. What a legend. That's an insane animation. Never seen that before. But yeah, the elves are kind of getting pushed back here. Um, by the pikes. Going to have to resort out their ideas for that. They're going to probably have to focus down um, them with arrows. And just try and hold them there. They are doing that here. Uh, the crossbow. Certainly the Urukai pikes. They're getting them on the angle. I am now matching um, the Uru... Not the Urukai. The uh, dwarven crossbows for fire with my uh, yard patrols. But I mean, look at the amount of blood. It's I will say, I don't think I've actually killed any dwarves. Yeah, they're, they're all very fresh. They've not actually taken a hit yet. But the amount of blood coming off these dwarves is insane. Like, there's so many of them bloodied up. In fairness, Yard Patrollers aren't the most elite uh, archers I could bring. They're pretty mid-tier. Even though they're called elite Yard Patrollers, they're still pretty mid-tier. Um, so, I can see why they're not doing so well. I've already started then focusing down their foot, their iron foot guard. Oh, what are they? I keep forgetting what they... Iron guards, not iron foot guard, iron guards. Um, but yes, I mean, the elven archers here are getting outmatched because of their armor. They've got a lack of armor, and well, this is the cheap archers. This is the only different unit that we've really seen in past, from past battles, is uh, this unit here. Which is, uh, it's just not a bad move because then it means you can put more money on your infantry. But there you go. The cavalry has found the enemy general, and, uh, I mean, he's he was winning that, and he's pulled out, and he really shouldn't have. Oh, what a nice kill this is going to be. Oh, yeah, dead. And he's picking up his banner. Like, nothing happened. But yeah, casualties sustained. The general is still alive, um, it would seem, but only just, and he's being scared off by some berserkers as well, so... Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I mean, they're basically out of ammo. They've got Urukai archers here. Um, they're basically out of ammo and men. They're getting outmatched by the elven... Uh, counterparts. I mean, these crossbows seem to be doing okay, but they're taking a lot of casualties. They're not actually firing. They need to start firing some stuff. But the elves are running out of ammo. The elven archers back there are already nearly out of ammo. What have they been firing at? But it, there you go. It looks like Dorwinian and the Erebor dwarves have now gone into combat. It's going to be these court guards going in against some, uh, some axes. And I imagine the dwarves will probably win this in the long run. They've got the better armor and... Well, they're just dwarves. They're just hardy. Weak men like from Dorwinian aren't going to hold forever. I mean, these are these are pretty good. They are trained and they're... Well, heavy melee against... Well, they're against very heavy. They've not even killed a single uh, dwarf yet. Well, they've sustained a few losses of their own. This probably will go on for a while. And now we can see the dwarves are making a push between this gap. Um, between these pikes and uh, these court swordsmen. And it's a very nice little move here. He's sending a lot of troops through. He's going to commit a lot of troops. I'm having to send forward some Vinland guards to deal with all these dwarves that are coming through. And here we go. A good clash about to happen. Yeah, and those Vinland guard are now going to have to hold. And now there's some Urukai pikes coming up to deal with uh, the situation as well. They are trying to get around these pikes here. But instead, they really blob up. And they kind of lose their opportunity. They could have got around. They would have probably died, but... Now there's a lot of stuff being sent up. Like, look at all this pikes. All these pikes going up. There's Vinland Watchmen. More Urukai pikes. They're getting focused down in fairness by crossbows and elven archers. But, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of dwarves now being committed. And now our general's fallen. What happened? Oh, the, the cavalry came back again. <laughs> they couldn't deal with it. And now the general's dead for uh, Isengard. It's not good. And now being chased off by berserkers, that cavalry probably will break eventually. Um, but, I mean, that's not good. Like, those Urukai archers now have shattered. Now Isengard's in a really risky position. He's got, what, this other Mordor rabble's breaking. No one cares about them. The runts. But, I mean, the, uh, dwarves are making this really easy for me because I'll just, like, zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm meaning. Um, I've got my cavalry back here. I didn't actually realize. So, actually, we'll come back to what, um, the dwarves have done wrong in a minute. But here we go. The cavalry running down what's left of the elves. Jeez, that was insane. Very nice little kill there. That's going to sort that out. Easy option to go and kill. And now the elves are coming out. They're going to go and try, try and chase it down. But what I was going to say while the, before the cavalry rudely interrupted me. That um, the dwarves are like piling so many units. Here. I know they're losing decisively here. But that's like very, very temporary. Like these are grim hammers. Shouldn't really send them in first anyway on their own. You should send these uh, spears in. We should start sending stuff around. 
Because, like, he had so many more units. He piled so much stuff in here as well. Could have got around my army. And I didn't really have enough to hold, like, a really, really extended front. I'm losing in this center already. Um, and I probably will. He's just trying to, like, force his way through. He's not even engaging here. Well, he's barely, barely engaging. Like, there's only about half a dozen guys or dwarves fighting here. The rest are just standing back and just like, yeah, we'll, we'll wait. You know, I'm not really feeling it today. But yeah, it's a, it's a really, really, like, look at this. Look how many units I had to send in to try and match these Grim Hammers and Axe Warriors and Spear Guards. It's ridiculous. But Dorwinian, I mean, they look pretty damn good in their purple. I like that. It's like a wine purple almost. And then we've got... Isengard up here in its classic dark uniform. And here we go. I'm already surrounding them. So I sent this uh, final Vinland Guard unit. And I put sent it between these two pike units and around. Because I realized the elves have nothing here. They've got no melee infantry. So I was telling my allies, well, you need to start pushing with these infantry. There's literally nothing here. The elves are almost spent. I'm not even quite sure how. They were like, they didn't bring a lot, obviously, because they're elves. But they really took the offensive. And I'm now focusing down the Grim Hammers. I know it's a bit scummy, general sniping. But he's just out of here. I've got nothing else to shoot at. Apart from possibly these guys, which have been chased down by a... Uh, well, chasing down my cavalry. And th these are elves. This is probably why the elves aren't doing so well. They've got units chasing after my uh, my cavalry. But, I mean, Isengard is actually going to win this fight, it looks like. After the uh, fight, like losing their general. The elves are still pushing hard. There's very few men like holding these uh, elves back, in fairness. So, I mean, it's going to be so close to tell. But, I mean, look at this over here. There's literally no elves left. I mean, I do apologize for all the trees. But, I mean, yeah. It's like... There's hardly any elves left. The uruk are going to win this. Like they did at Helm's Deep. But, yeah, they've got so many units free here. And the Isengard General needs to mobilize them. Such a long line. And in go the Vinland Guard. They look very, very similar to the uh, Erebor, like, uh, Iron Guards. But... Yeah, like the dwarves are so much shorter, it's kind of easy to tell who's a man and who's a dwarf. And I'm having to send in my archers now. I mean, well, I'm not having to. I mean, we are actually breaking them, but I was just like, well, we've got... Might as well send them in. They've got no ammo. But we are actually losing here. We are very, very soon to be broken through. So my cavalry's having to get in the rear and attack them. And now these elves are in. They finally chase us down. The elves are, like, still fresh, I'd just like to say. Those elves are still fresh, and they've, like, sprinted across the entire map chasing my cavalry. Shows how insane elves are in, like, stamina. Yeah, these are, uh, this cavalry's now dealt with. Um, that was well done by the elven player. And then these are uh, Erebor crossbows are now basically going to get, well, slowly killed off. Now, these are probably, like, the toughest archers you could probably take on in, like, this mod. Like, they have so much armor of their own. They're not going to, like... Die easy. They'll give these cavalry a bit of a fight, especially since this isn't the best sort of cavalry in the world. This is like, this is like, I think they're medium spear cavalry. No, they're heavy spear, but they're not very heavy. So they're they're still good, but they're not great. So yeah, they're actually holding quite well. So hopefully they'll do okay. But now there's some pikes coming in here. Don't know what he's trying to really do with the pikes. Don't worry, they're going there. They want to help fight over here. Okay, well yeah, these elves kind of caught them out, so they've been forced to attack one by one. What a weird pike formation. But look how many of them there are. Just forcing them back. That is ridiculous. But yes, yeah, so now if we look at the... Uh, just zoom out a little bit. The elves are almost cut off over here. I mean, there's only a few units left. I don't even know where the, where the elven general is. Oh, he's there. He's 39. He's going to have to go in and commit. But they're fighting uh, pikes and a few berserkers. So they're going to be pretty, some pretty tough units. My general has now been committed. Um, to just like swing around the side and attack their flank and these uh, spear guards aren't aren't liking that they are not liking that one bit but these archers as well they're not going to hold for long against grim hammers these grim hammers have been in the fight so long as well it's just like how are they still holding and there's a few court guards still holding the line as well it looks so weird, it's like, they're so tall. Look at these guys, like, how can you, oh my gosh, this guy's gonna just, like, Grim Hammer just killed that archer. Like, how could you die to a dwarf? It can't even reach your head. Oh, 
Doesn't need to. You can just hit him in the nuts. But here we go. I mean, there's now what this spear. Well, more spear guards coming in. He's having. A, he's really pushing here. The dwarves. To be fair, if the dwarves, they're not out of this, and they've got through. They've just magically got through. There is barely anything here. If they can swing around here. They could route a lot of stuff. And if they could, I mean, Isengard could break at any moment. Their general is dead. You need to remember that they do have a general unit left, but the general is dead. And now having to send in more archers just to like deal with these spear guards because this center's now breaking. So my general is about to be cut off from the rest of the army. It's all coming down in the last few minutes. So what happens here? These pikes are holding well though with their weird wizard staffs, pikes. They're holding against all this, these dwarves. They really need to bring some of their own pikes. I'm surprised they didn't. It's kind of the only reason why I brought them. Because I thought dwarves, they're going to bring pikes. Certainly Isengard will obviously bring pikes. And now these white hand stormers, I think one of my favorite, another one of my favorite units. It's like their shields look so cool. Um, these guys are just insane. They're now just dealing with these crossbows. Poor guys. The, the poor shield's taller than this dwarf. Yeah, there they go. They're breaking. He's had enough. But yeah, I think these uh, white hand stormers are supposed to be like, if you're using a siege, you send them in, in the first initial wave. Then you send in your Urukai, and then obviously like the pikes and whatever else. But they're now fighting off, um, is this Gil-Gilad? No, it's not. It's the Noldorians. Noldorian spears. I think Gil-Gilad might be dead. Oh, he's not, oh, uh, yeah, he's not faring too well. He's eight, seven of them left. Yeah, I think he might be dead. I mean, well, basically Isengard can free up his entire army here. He's now able to surround these pikes. He's about to send them in. Here we go. They're about to get stabbed up in the back of these guys. And well, they're already actually getting attacked by Vinland uh, guards as well. Not good. Four, they're in a really tight spot here. But the dwarves, they're famous for getting out of tight spots. Unless it involves balrogs. Then it's uh, an unpleasant sight. I mean, they're also surrounding us here. Like, an enemy general is dead. Is that? Which enemy general? Oh, that's the... Uh, uh, he's finally died. Wow, he actually did... Go on to the last. He's, they're all gone now. So Gilgalad is gone. So the uh, elves are basically out. I think they only, only had like one unit left anyway. I'm not even sure if they had even had that. But maybe. Yeah, I think they're about to break there. Yeah, that's their final unit. So that's the elves out. It's now down to the dwarves. I mean, it's very possible the dwarves could do this. They still have their general. And Isengard has no general of their own. Yeah, that's not a good sign. And this is where we're winning quite convincingly. There's only a very small unit of uh, Dwarven Swords left here. Um, basically holding off. We've got so many units that we could have like sent elsewhere to really like save ourselves. But we, we didn't really we didn't realize how well we were winning over here. We kind of focused down like further down the line trying to micro. But there we go. And those White Hand Storms just coming in the rear. That was the, uh, that was the final nail in the coffin for those Dwarves. And now we have, what do we have here? We have... Archers safe up just shooting into the backs of the dwarves and that probably is going to be it the balance of power Yeah, it's 1400 to 300 you do imagine now the dwarves are not gonna Well get through it looked like the only real chance that they really like they're gonna win uh, The dwarves and the elves was when they took out that general so early on I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna win this and we barely engaged them. I hadn't even engaged them, but the elves were a bit too offensive in this whole forest area here. They sent so many men to die against the pikes. Like, look at the devastation. Insane. Insane. Such a such a great loss of life. Such a weird alliance between Dorwinian and Isengard. How did this even happen? Same with the dwarves and the elves. They hate each other. Why would they? It must be really bad if Dor Dorwinian and Isengard are fighting, are fighting together. And the... Erebor and the elves are fine together. The Berserk is now getting in here. We've not really seen them fight yet. But here we go. Look at all these pikes. They're surrounding these dwarves. They're still fighting on. There's like two different pockets. You can almost just talk to each other. There's so many. I mean, they're still taking so many lives with them. Fire arrows coming in. Who's firing fire arrows? Oh, these guys. Crossbows. I didn't even realize they could fire fire arrows. But yeah, it's such a massive crush. Like, me, this, like, there's so many encirclements. Like, these guys are encircled, but then these dwarves are also encircled. 
And then these dwarves are sort of encircled as well. Only just, like, by two men. If they die, the encirclement's over. And there we go. They're breaking. Oh, no, they're not. They're just charging. They're making an attack on these dwarves, on these Darwinian archers. Probably the best move if you're going to get out of this encirclement. This is the weak spot. Is there a unit over here still? No, they just broke. Wow. Of course they break, as I say. But here we go. There's a lot of breaking now. Lots of wavering by the dwarves. They must have lost their general. I can't see him. Yeah, and there we go. A period victory for Darwinian and Isengard. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end result. So, I mean, what did exceptionally well then? I mean, for me, not too massively. Uh, I had, like, some Vinland Guards. I got 103. And uh, Vinter Court Swordsman, I got 108. That's kind of it. My archers did pretty damn well. Getting, in, uh, like, 79 kills. It's not too bad for archers. Cavalry did pretty well, nearly getting 100 kills. Um, also just harassing in the back and just drawing units away, very, very key. Pike did okay, holding back the forces at bay, but that's, that's kind of all that really did. I didn't do exceptionally well. Here is with the Greeks, who's playing as Isengard. His White Hand Storm is getting 225 kills. That's very, very good. One of his Pike units getting 184. Very good. Um, obviously, you expect that kind of with those long... Pike's going to get a lot of kills. His Urukai archers, surprisingly, got 175 kills. That's very good for them. Crossbows only get 132. They out actually outmatch the crossbows. Usually they have like better armor piercing. His berserkers getting 128. Not surprising with their big, long broadswords. They're expected to get loads of kills, and they're just fights the death anyway, so uh, they're going to get lots of kills. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really it. Backcrish playing as the uh, Lindon Elves. Um, he got a lot of kills with his Noldorian swords, 278 and 108 with his Noldorian spearmen. They're the two highest sort of units there. His, one of his archers did actually get 136 kills. Even though I kind of criticised these elves, they actually did get a lot of kills. His cavalry not doing too bad either on 83, obviously killing um, the Nazhai um, guardians off, basically, and killing the general, which is kind of key for them trying to, if they were going to win that battle. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Um, and then Microsoft PowerPoint playing as Erebor. His Grim Hammer is obviously getting 221 kills, an insane amount of kills. Um, obviously, they were going to do very well. They're a really, really good unit. Definitely, if you're playing as Erebor, you need to bring a couple of these guys to the battlefield. And uh, his Erebor crossbow is not doing too bad. Nearly uh, getting 100 kills here, and this one getting 110. They actually did quite well. They were really hard to take down, to be fair, and they're not bad in combat, so I do re also recommend them. The rest of his infantry didn't do too too great. His spears did okay for spears. His swords are pretty poorly, but these iron guards aren't as great as uh, like the axes, for instance, which didn't, to be honest, do great themselves either. And his general, uh, as a Grim Hammer unit, did pretty poorly as well, which is un unfortunate. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this Rise of Mordor battle and you want to see more Lord of the Rings on the channel, please do leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to take part in any of these Rise of Mordor battles then please join the papal legion discord i'll leave the link down below and until next time legionnaires bye for now